Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another one of my 52 kayaking trips in 2017. And today's trip was rather short. A couple of reasons it was short. One, I was testing out my new trolling motor to see how well it was going to work for Karen so she'd have a little bit of an advantage to help keep up with me. And the other main reason is, as you can see, I have a smashed out back window. Um, wasn't able to secure the truck up, so I didn't want to be gone from the truck too awfully long at the time. So I went ahead and threw the kayak, um, my new Predator 13, I threw it in the back of the truck. Started making a bracket for it to mount the, um, the Troy motor off it. I've um, got the battery mounted, got everything all mounted. It was looking good. Took the motor hang all back apart, put it in the back of the truck um, by itself. So I didn't want to just dangle out there, dragging it to the waterway to go test it. And as I was strapping the kayak in, I realized the kayak had slid up a little bit instead of being the bed of the truck. It was above the back of the bed of the truck, and or I guess it was the front of the bed, the part by the cab, and it was above the back of the front panel there. And when I strapped it in, I smashed my back window with the nose of the kayak. So that was a um, few hundred dollar mistake that really screwed me up. And I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna put it away. I thought, no, I've already done it, what the hell. So I went ahead and I'll head down there if I park in a different way, kind of back with the um, boot back of the truck facing like the mangroves and stuff. Can't imagine if he's gonna notice the back window smashed out, which luckily it hadn't. And it wasn't quite that bad when I got there, but it was pretty close. Pieces keep falling out as I drive. It started off just a hole about the size of a baseball, just the corner that popped in, but it all just kept coming out since then. So you might be able to hear it falling, little chunks of glass falling in the back of the truck and in the, in the cab of the truck right now. So I did go out though um, with the trolling motor. It's not the fanciest mount by any means. It's just my temporary mount, it's a two by three screwed to a couple of the mounting plates and the uh, battery sits right behind the seat and straps to the bar uh, behind it. So it's surprisingly a really great location for the battery. It's a giant, um, humongous house battery from my RV. Back when I was living in my van RV and, and stuff, it's amazing, giant, huge battery that um, I haven't charged in a year and a half, maybe. I don't know, it's been forever. Probably at least a year and a half since I charged on it. Last June, I believe it would have been, when it last had a charge on the darn thing. And it's ran the trolling motor for uh, about two miles. I was and it just it totally kicked butt. It did a great job um, getting about 3.3 to 4 mile an hour out of it, depending on the current and the wind. So, not too bad. It's a giant difference. It's a five speed, I think it's like a 30 foot pound torque uh, of 30 pounds of thrust, however you word it. And it did surprisingly well. I didn't uh, take a cigar, I didn't really do any fishing, I didn't anything. I just basically took it out to test it out. I didn't want to get too far away and had to paddle back and stuff. It's getting, as you can tell, it's getting very dark out there. It's way dark. It shows up brighter on the camera for some reason than what it really is, but the sun, um, I think, will legally be down in like two minutes. So I had to be off the water without lights um, really quickly. So, plus the motor isn't even registered yet. There's a whole bunch of problems that if a um, water cop would have stopped me, I would have had a lot of explaining to do. But I had fun anyway. Um, got another one of my trips down. I don't think there's any way I'm gonna get 52 trips in this year. I totally screwed that up. Um, I think the only thing I'm going to get is I got my cigars done and I think I may um, have the restaurants in time. I might be able to knock out, the, I think I've got seven restaurants left to do. I should be able to handle that because this is like only the um, 8th of December. So that won't be a problem, but I definitely have to make up the long runs and the um, kayaking trips. I'll have to do that next year and start over on that. So anyway, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys soon. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thank you for watching and get out there and get your paddle on.